Well then, before we begin, we'll get rid of this business. Yes. Hello everyone! I'm back! And guess what? There are only exactly 30 days until... Yay, my scissors! Uh, references to things nobody knows about. Um, I knew about references to scissors long before mm, references to scissors existed. <laughs> <coughs> Today I have these scissors in hand. There are exactly 30 days until my wedding, which means I need to kick it in gear. There are actually only two vages left, so I just so much fail on that one that I'm not even gonna bother. Um, today I have a special treat. I didn't open this box. It's fragile, and I was afraid that it would like knock around in the trunk and become broken. But, we're going to find out what's inside. I actually know what's inside and it's really well wrapped. And that's why I left it in there for the transport home. <sighs> so, I actually did see a picture of this item before it was shipped. Uh, and, that, and this is from Tiffany Jones. Tiffany Jones? Yes. <laughs> I'm so good. Um... She makes glass stuff. She basically etches anything you want into glass and does lots of different things with glass. This is really well done. Well done, Tiffany. Well done on your boxing. Oh, there's packing peanuts. Where am I going to put packing peanuts? I don't know. Oh, goodness. Not going to be big enough for all of these packing peanuts. Come on, people want to know what's in this box. Come on, definitely not big enough not at all. Oh, but I think I found what I am searching for. All right, all of these other packing peanuts can stay safely in here. What's in here? Oh, this is a large piece of paper separating the things that I want. Ah, such a good wrapping job. I just, I'm so thankful. No, really, I am. I would be super sad if he's broken the mail this close to the wedding and it was like, <laughs> uh, the post office carrier drop kicked this across the, across the road and into the mailbox, trying to prove a point to himself that he could. All right. Oh, what? Stemless? Weird. Who has stemless champagne flutes? Oh, people who have a three on their champagne flute. How strange to have a three on their champagne flute. Well, let's look at the other one. Three, what could that mean? Three is my favorite number. Three is a magic number. Three, six, nine. 12, 15, 18, 24, 27, 30. Yes, I was in a production of Schoolhouse Rock when I was in junior high. I was an extra, so I got to sing all the songs. Which is why I can count to a very special song. Uh, I can count by threes. All right. What is that? What a strange character. It looks like a mouth. Like it's going to nom this juggling ball. Nom, 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 nom. What could it mean? Oh. Oh. Because we're nerdy. It's a heart. I'll go this way. It's a heart. Oh. So when we're sitting next to each other, and we're like, Ding! it's love. 
Now, she actually had a hard time with this because she's like, oh, none of these fonts freaking work and it looks ugly and I hate it. I'm like, it's okay, just make the three bigger. And she's like, that totally worked. And I really like it now. It doesn't look ugly at all. Now, I didn't ask her anything about how she does it. I don't know if it's acid. I don't know if it's an actual etching thingy. But, now that I unbox that, they look freaking awesome. Now I'm going to gingerly, carefully wrap these back up because they have to last 30 days. 30 days. They're actually a good size. Like, are you looking at how big these are? Our sh other champagne flutes are like this big. The champagne flutes with stems are like that big. They're just, they're giant. I could put a whole bottle of champagne in here, which I will. Who buys crystal things and then etches on them? I mean, really. Not this girl. So, I have more stuff to show you, definitely, definitely. Um, I am going to do an unboxing of my um, sand ceremony set. So that's very, very exciting to me. Packing peanuts galore. I'm, I really, really appreciate how well this was packed. Everybody who makes their own stuff seems to be like, no, no, we're going to do this the right way because freaking sucks having to try and remake something you just made and just shipped and you thought you were done with. So, something good about pizza. Pizza. I will get you the the storefront name. I think it's um Southern Comfort Traditions something. Not like Southern Comfort the alcohol, but like oh it's southern and it's lovely. Alright. Hooray Art. That is all for today. I am definitely not going to bother cutting this at all. Sorry if it's 30 minutes. Bye, love you.